Holy crap guys, can this be real? The ultrasonic sensors are coming back to newer Model 3s and Ys. Now it really depends when I drop this video versus my other video, but if you guys haven't already heard, Tesla is testing vehicles made in China on San Francisco roads as of right now. Now I won't get into too much detail if you guys haven't already watched it, I don't want to spoil the next video, but what's interesting about this is that all these vehicles here do have ultrasonic sensors and they're a little bit different. Now what's more interesting here is that they're covered up in these white plastic films or if the sensors itself is white. Don't know what the reason really is but they are there. Maybe Tesla is trying to hide them or they're trying to make it even more obvious but what we know for sure is that Tesla Vision is not on their minds right now. Now, there has been a lot of speculation on Twitter whether this is just a protective film for transportation or is it just there for the sake of keeping it scratch free. But if you guys had to ask me, why wouldn't they just cover the entire bumper if it was for transportation? And why couldn't they just cover it with a see-through plastic film instead of a glaring white piece? Now, we originally only saw this on the Model Ys. However, we started also seeing it on the Made in China China Model 3s as well. They've been driving in San Francisco streets like if they were normal cars and maybe Tesla is trying to test out the suspension or the different parts to the vehicle making sure that it works across the entire globe with one type of trim. But maybe they're testing out the parking sensors how they work up in China versus Tesla Vision here. They're trying to compete the two and see if they are on par with each other. Now you guys might be asking how do we know for sure that this is a made in China Model 3 and not just any other model? Take a look at the license plate here, like why would they have a Chinese license plate that is extremely long and rectangular? Why not just remove them from factory? Now if the license plate is not even enough, take a look at the tail lights. The tail light itself says it all. You'll see that it does have an amber or a yellow turn signal and that is only available in Europe and parts of China just because they are part of regulations. You do not have the red turn signals just like you do in North America here. Now another thing is we do have all these thoughts about maybe them just shipping older vehicles over here just to test out what the previous materials and what the suspension and parts are like. However, it doesn't make sense that they ship an older vehicle. Why not just one directly off of the production line of Giga Shanghai? So my prediction here is after all the backlash with Tesla Vision, they are trying to get both of them as comparison vehicles to see if Tesla Vision is really going to replace the ultrasonic sensors. And if it's not going to be able to, what's a $100 part going to affect the entire car? They really could just jack up the price by $100, which they do on a regular basis anyways, and leave those sensors in for reliability. Now just to top things off right here, you'll also notice that there is a glaring difference in the Model Ys here. For some reason, up in China, they do like to show off that they're driving a certain car by showing its badge. So as you can see at the back of the Model Ys, they're not hiding it at all. It literally says words in Chinese and then they'll have the glaring Model Y there just to let people know that it is a Model Y. I think this is the only market that does this and if you guys know why, let me know in the comments below because in China every single car likes to show off that they are driving that specific car by making sure people see the badge and the names. It's kind of interesting but let's get back on topic here. Now we're all questioning what they're going to be doing with vehicles that don't have the ultrasonic sensors. So moving forward I do believe that they're going to continue improving the software to Tesla Vision to closest that they can be with what the ultrasonic sensors are able to do. It will never fully replace parking sensors but at least to get the bare bone requirements for the features to work but to what extent that is not a requirement they didn't promise you that it's going to work 100% so you're just going to have to live with your car not having the most reliable parking assist feature. Now I've always said in every single one of my videos that the parking sensors plus Tesla Vision is going to be the perfect combination. This is going to give it redundancy if one system fails there is the other system to back it up. What Tesla is doing with the Tesla Tesla Vision stack is very neat and it's very cost efficient but it just can't be as reliable. You guys might think this is unfair but really it is what it is and you just have to live with it. Now none of this has been confirmed whatsoever but most likely they are driving around the roads in San Francisco to test some important feature 
And one thing for sure is they're not dealing with any of the squiggly lines with Tesla Vision. Anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, so I can keep you up to date as soon as anything drops. This is John once again. Peace out.